The left is preparing for a possible Trump victory. Pro-immigration groups are drafting lawsuits if deportations become a reality. Washington State Governor Jay Inslee is stockpiling abortion drugs under some belief a Trump presidency would outlaw such drugs. Litigation will be every bit as prevalent as legislation by this time next year. Joining us is Republican Party Conference Chair Congresswoman Elise Stefanik from the great state of New York. Welcome, Madam Chair. It, it seemed like things were, I don't know, I was there with you, a little slow out of the gates in 2016. And of course, the Russia cloud didn't help. But is there a legislative agenda ready to go if the GOP wins the White House and the House? Well, there is. First of all, thank you, Trey, for the opportunity to be on your show. You're a good friend, and we miss you as a former colleague, but so proud to be able to share our message. We are focused every day on ensuring that we have a historic victory on Election Day. President Trump continues to do well in swing state polls, where he is polling ahead everywhere. But we know that in addition to electing President Trump, we need to flip the Senate. But most importantly, we need to make sure that we maintain and gain seats in the House. So we're working on the political strategy to win, but also, importantly, to hit the ground running to govern on behalf of the American people, particularly as you're seeing so many crises because of Joe Biden's failed policies. We are ready to go on day one to support President Trump's agenda. And I want to outline a few key focuses. One is securing the border. We passed the Secure the Border Act, H.R. 2, which returns to President Trump's effective border security policies, which have been completely washed away and catastrophic under Joe Biden. Uh, additionally, we're focused on unleashing American energy independence. We passed H.R. 1, which would unleash a boom of American energy independence, which Joe Biden declared war on on day one. In addition, we want to return to peace through strength. You know I'm focused on that on the House Armed Services Committee, on the House Intelligence Committee. And that means strongly supporting our allies like Israel, which Joe Biden has turned his back on. So we're already working to make sure that we can hit the ground running on day one and deliver productive results to the American people immediately. All right, Congresswoman, we've seen yet another young woman killed at the hands of someone let loose in this country, a child murdered in Texas by men who claimed they were fearful of danger in their own country, another child sexually assaulted by someone who crossed the border. Biden claims the Senate bill would have solved all of these problems. Uh, they would not have, but that's what he's going to claim. Is there a GOP plan that can pass Congress, secure the border, and begin to expeditiously remove those who cannot follow our laws before they kill and rape people. Absolutely, Trey. And this is yet another tragedy. It's a human tragedy, what is happening at our southern border. And frankly, our border, I represent a northern border district as well. But this is yet another loss of life stemming from this illegal immigration crisis, which is because of Joe Biden's border policies. What we included in the Secure the Border Act, which we passed despite our very slim majority that we hold today, was ending catch and release. Now, we know that these illegal, violent criminals uh, who murdered this innocent, young, beautiful girl, uh, we know that they were encountered by Border Patrol, but because of catch and release, they were released. And therefore, for, unfortunately, they committed this heinous, heinous, uh, violent murder, and they need to be held accountable. Uh, how we do that is ensuring that we have a uh, House majority to vote again on the Secure the Border Act, that the Senate passes that bill. President Trump will sign that into law because they are President Trump's policies. And also this humanitarian crisis, Trey, think about the human trafficking that has occurred because of this border crisis. There's not a lot of focus on this, but nearly 100 100,000 minors have been lost completely by Joe Biden's Department of Homeland Security. They don't even know where they are, uh, who were illegally trafficked across our southern border. So this is a humanitarian crisis, and the loss of life is impacting communities and families right here, as we saw in this case of this 12-year-old girl in Texas. You mentioned the margin. It is thin. I had the pleasure of sitting beside you on the floor of the House and on a committee. I know that your personality is infectious and formidable. If anyone in the world can get Republicans to quit fighting with one another and coalesce, it would be you. And thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. And my best to your handsome young son, Sam. Thanks, Trey.
Yes, ma'am. Take care. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.